free tonight after posting bail on his bond. It is a problem that's causing many people a lot of stress and a lot of money, vandalism, and it seems to be popping up a lot of different places. KTEX's reporter Brittany Molinar has the facts on how a recent spike in graffiti has brought one family to their wits end. That's right, Wayne. The Hester family has been trying to protect their property by putting up a brand new fence. But unfortunately, that fence made a perfect clean canvas for some very unwanted artwork. It's very frustrating after, you know, a long day's hard work and, you know, you come home and you try to make your house look nice, your yard look nice, and, and you see this trash on on your fence. So what's the purpose of this destructive act? Psychologist Dr. Mark Orner says many people don't think there's any reason for it, but there is. They get identification. They get notoriety. They get from other people. Look at what I did. Look how cool and bad I am. I can do this. I got no fear. Abilene police haven't released any information on the criminals, but Hessler believes that young adults are to blame. If we did this when we were kids, you know, our parents were the law. They were the correctional officers. You know, we, we got our butts whipped by it. But the crime doesn't end with graffiti. Earlier this week, vandals caused thousands of dollars in damages to two local car lots. More than 50 cars were keyed at Sterling Volkswagen and Aero Ford. That's malicious vandalism. That's anger. That's somebody that's angry at somebody. It may not be the car company, but the car company is a very easy target. And we spoke to a couple teens who lived near the home where the graffiti was. They said they're pretty sure they know who did it, but out of fear of retaliation, they won't go to the police. Oh boy, well, here's some facts on what Abilene police say you need to do if your home or business has been hit by graffiti. Report the crime to the Abilene non-emergency police number. That is 673-8331. After graffiti is reported, it's important to remove it or paint over it. Leaving graffiti in place could be interpreted as condoning the crime. APD and the Taylor County Juvenile Probation Office offers free graffiti removal. The labor is free. Uh, any paint or chemicals used to uh, remove it uh, needs to be provided by the property.